think the Washington Post is a Russian asset by comparison. Mitch McConnell loves our country. Mitch McConnell is a man that knows less about Russia and Russian influence than even Donald Trump. And I know nothing. Well, you don't hear that every day. President Trump responding to the bizarre claim being pushed by many Democrats and the media that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is actually a secret Russian agent. And that this is hardly nuanced. Here's one headline from The Washington Post, quote, Mitch McConnell is a Russian asset. The memes are everywhere, labeling him Moscow Mitch due to his opposition of two Democratic bills supposedly aimed at preventing election interference. These people have worn out the volume knobs so badly that they have nothing left but the most unhinged smears. Welcome to modern day McCarthyism. Here now, Charlie Hurt and Richard Goodstein. Good evening to you both. Good Charlie, evening, start Sandra. us off here. It's hard to believe, but they're calling Mitch McConnell a Russian asset. Yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of comical. Uh, well, let me say the first thing. I, I, I love seeing Mitch McConnell swing back, and that is a page right out of uh, Donald Trump's playbook. Uh, uh, if the media comes at you with, with this crazy, insane stuff like this, if the media comes at you with this cra mm. crazy, insane stuff, you go right back at him. You go to the, the, your, your bully pulpit, and, and you hit him back, and I love that. But this insanity, this, uh, this fantasy about the Russia collusion thing that, that has gone on for two years now, that they have not been able to pin on Donald Trump and now they're just running around looking for anybody to pin it on it is absolutely insane this town has gone completely <laughs> nuts and I, I seriously I think that we, we you need a team of shrinks to come to Washington to, to deal with these the, the people that actually believe in this stuff because I, I I'm getting to the point where I think that that uh, I used to think they were just lying now I think that they really do there's something caught in their head and they can't get get over it Richard the the, the editor of the editorial page at the Washington Post is def defending uh, Dana Milbank, who, who penned this column, as a legitimate exercise in commentary, making the argument that Senator McConnell's blocking of election security legislation <coughs> will harm the United States. And, and, and oh, I'm sorry to cut off my page. Anyway, you get the point. He's taking the back of Dana, Dana Milbank here. Right. And th you, these are the memes that are all over the Internet. I mean, they're everywhere after this happened. Your thoughts? Yeah. You know, I, I actually tend to agree with, with Charlie on this one. I think if Mitch McConnell had been in Helsinki, he would have believed our intelligence agencies, not Vladimir Putin. If Mitch McConnell was asked in his reelection campaign next year, if Russia comes forward and says, we want to give you more dope, stolen dope on your opponent, he would say no, unlike Donald Trump. And if, and, and if, and if Mitch McConnell met with Putin again, he wouldn't say it was a big joke with a smile on his face, oh, don't interfere again, right? He takes this seriously. He has said over and over, Russia is not our friend. I believe our intelligence agencies. I well, think tell, that, tell that to the media, because I agree with watch, you. watch this. Oh, we don't have it. Joe Scarborough, Donnie Deutsch, Moscow Mitch, they have yeah. been absolutely teeing off on this. So the issue, listen, Sandra, the, the question, though, is the FBI director, the Senate Intelligence Committee, bipartisan, run by Republicans, said the Russians interfered, got in every one of our 50 states, and will try again. The question is, has, has mm. the government done everything it can do to stop that from happening? Um, We'll see. Well, the Wall Street Journal penned an op-ed today smearing Mitch McConnell. They heavily defended his work to do just that. Democrats in the media distort his record on Russia. We dug up just about everything he's done. 2019, March of this year, he called Russia a significant threat. He's warned Russia about election meddling. I mean, Great. I could go down the list here on the things that he has done. Charlie, final thoughts to you tonight. And, uh, uh, of course, everybody agrees that, that something should be done to tighten up the elections, and, and, and this should be uh, 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 done. But the, pro the problem is that Democrats just, Democrats just put out a bill that, that does lots of crazy things like nationalize our elections, and there can be a legitimate debate about whether that's the right way to deal with this or not. Yeah. But, but uh, determining from that that somehow Mitch McConnell is in the pocket of the Russians, come yeah. on. Let's, yeah. let's uh, elevate the d discussion right here a about. little bit. Yeah. All right, Richard, Charlie, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. See you. By the way, check out Charlie this weekend on Wise Guys, only on Fox Nation, by the way, Charlie.